Hello, Carl here with Sustainability Theory News. We're over at Hobby Farms, and they have a pretty good article here on Harness the Sun to Kill Soil Pests and Disease. Now, they do talk about the drawbacks of solarizing your so soil. Uh, you know, there's benefits, of course. You can kill off many different diseases, and they are listed. Just a few of them here. Most of them fungal diseases, but there are some bugs that it would kill as well. It's mostly uh, just diseases, though. You can get the temperature wrong and kill too many bugs or too many uh, beneficial. It can uh, really just exacerbate native weeds too, really. That, that's a bigger problem if you have the temperature too low. The plastic mulch does not break down and the mulch can be expensive. And it's not mulch, it's plastic sheeting. You know, let's get that straight. And you can't really go to the Home Depot and get any regular plastic sheeting. You can, but after one year, it'll break down real quickly. You're going to have to get like greenhouse plastic, which will last four times as long, and it's not quite four times as expensive. That would really help, and you got to make sure it's in the hottest days. But another drawback they point out in the article, solarization, it prevents some of the best months for growing. You're going to have to cover your crops in the middle of the hottest weeks, which can be great weeks to grow many different crops like tomatoes that love the heat. If you'd like to read more about this article, of course, the link will be in the description. And if you'd like to see more news headlines like this, subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.